Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part 31 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Super Mario Brothers. So in this tutorial, we're going to talk about kicking those turtle shells that we made in the last tutorial into enemies and killing the enemies off. So if you're interested in learning how to do that, stick with me. First up, go to your world contact listener and in the enemy collides with the enemy case, we are going to remove this. We are going to say on enemy hit and this on enemy hit is going to take in the enemy that the first enemy collides with. So paste that there. And so since the first enemy is fixture A, this one will be fixture B. Let's go ahead and do on enemy hit. And then this enemy, uh, since it's fixture B, will collide with fixture A. In the enemy class, let's go ahead and say public abstract void on enemy hit that takes in an enemy called enemy. And then we'll have to also put that in the turtle class. Let's put that, I don't know, we can put it anywhere. So uh, public avoid uh, on enemy hit enemy enemy. We'll put some kind of method in there later. And then in the Goomba, we're gonna do the same thing. A public avoid on enemy hit enemy enemy so in the goomba class when he gets hit by an enemy what we want to do is check to see if that enemy is a turtle if he's a turtle is the turtle in the moving shell form which means that a moving shell ran into the goomba if it is we're going to kill that goomba off so let's code that now so we're going to check if uh, enemy is an instance of a turtle and if it is then typecast that enemy to turtle and um, typecast the enemy to turtle and say uh, current state equal to moving turtle shell. Then what we want to do, just like on head hit down here, we basically just set uh, the Goomba to destroy. So we're just going to set to destroy equals true. Save that. Now, if it's not a moving turtle shell, um, then all we want to do is reverse the velocity in the X axis and not in the y, y axis. So inside of our turtle class, we're gonna add a new state called dead because we're doing the turtle to class just a little bit different than we did the Goomba class. And this is just to show variety in the ways you can kill off enemies. So we're gonna create a new state uh, of the dead. And then at the bottom here, we're gonna create a new method, uh, public void killed and this is what is going to happen uh, when a turtle dies so in the original mario uh turtles can die by like shooting fireballs at them or like hitting them with a uh, a moving turtle shell and so uh, what would happen is that the turtle would like pop up in the air do some somersaults and like fall through the ground so let's go ahead and do that inside of our kill method so first thing we want to do is say uh current state equals state of the dead then what we want to do is create a new filter, a box 2D filter called filter equals new filter. And uh, we're going to say filter dot mask bits. And again, mask bits are what can the fixtures collide with. And so we're going to say Mario Bros a dot nothing bit because we're going to say he's going to be able to fall through the ground. We don't want him to collide with anything. And then how do we get all the fixtures uh, for uh, the turtle? The same way we did in Mario uh, when we killed off Mario. So what we're going to say is for uh, fixture, fixture inside of our box 2D body. Let's get, let's import that dot get fixture list. We want to set the fixture dot set filter data to filter. There we go. Now let's give him a little bump up in the air. So it looks like he got popped up in the air, done some somersaults and stuff like that. So we'll say um, B2 body dot set, uh, no, apply linear impulse. And we are going to apply a new vector two impulse, zero on the X axis and five float in the Y axis. So it's a positive five impulse. And then where are we going to apply the impulse? We're going to apply it to b2body.getWorldCenter. So basically the very center of our box 2D body. That's where the impulse will originate from. And then whether or not this could wake a enemy up if he was asleep in box 2D. We don't have to worry about that, but we're going to set it to true. 
So next let's uh, code how we're going to keep track of the rotation in degrees so he does somersaults when he dies. So we're gonna say private float dead rotation degrees. And then down, we have to initialize that, dead rotation degrees equals zero initially. And inside the update method right here, uh, we'll set something like right here. If current state equals dead, then what we want to do is, so we'll say dead rotation in degrees plus equals three is about pretty good. So it'll flip faster with flap, faster frame rates, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and then we'll say rotate. This is a sprite method. And then we'll say uh, dead rotation degrees. Now we want to say um, if the state time is greater than five and he, and um, the turtle is not already destroyed, then we want to say world dot destroy body or box 2D body. Then we set destroyed equal to true. So this will destroy our turtle in box 2D. Also make sure to uh, put this set linear velocity as an else statement because if he's dead, we don't want him to move left or to the right uh, our velocity rate. So set that to else. Okay, so the last thing we have to do here is the on enemy hit method. Now there's a couple cases. The first case is that a turtle, which is this turtle itself, hits another turtle or the case that this turtle hits a Goomba. Now if it hits a Goomba and it's not in its moving shell form, it sh it's means that it's probably walking or that it's just standing still, then it's okay to reverse its velocity. Now, if it hits a turtle uh, and it's in its shell form, we need to check, is that other turtle in shell form? And if it is, that means they um, collide off of each other. They hit each other and bounce back off. Now, if um, the turtle is in a turtle shell and it hits a walking turtle, we want it to kill that other turtle. So we have to code all of these possibilities into this on enemy hit method. So first off, let's just check if uh, enemy instance of turtle, then we're going to execute this part. Else if um, we are, let's do, let's do this down here. Else if um, current state equals a moving shell, or actually does not equal moving shell, then what we want to do is reverse velocity true false. So if we hit a Goomba, uh, because it's not a turtle to come down here. If we hit a Goomba and we're not a moving shell, then reverse the velocity of our turtle. So the first case up here where we collide with the turtle, we're going to say if um, turtle enemy dot current state equals a moving shell and our current state does not equal a uh, moving shell. Then what we want to do is killed. Our turtle dies. Now this there is something that's going to happen if we're a regular uh, turtle shell and we're not moving and it collides uh, with a moving shell, then we're still going to die. I'm not sure that's what happened in the original Mario. I think it like sent the 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 standing shell off in the opposite direction. You guys can code that if you want. I'm not going to mess with it. It's simple enough. So homework. So next, else if. Uh, current state equals moving shell, then we're just going to return because if we're a moving shell and we collide with another turtle that's like walking and stuff like that, we don't want it to reverse direction. We want to push through that turtle. That turtle will die. We keep going in the right direction. So we can just return void basically. And then finally we'll say else then we can just reverse, uh, let's, let's see, reverse velocity, true in the x-axis, false in the y-axis. Let's test it. So in this case, a Goomba is colliding with a turtle. We expect the turtle to uh, kill the Goomba and keep on going uh, without changing any kind of velocity. So let's test to see if that is the case. If I can, there we go. Totally worked. Next case, we got two turtles. First off, we're gonna kill one of the turtles by throwing it into uh, a walking turtle and it worked. 
So I made a slight error here. Um, this else if statement should be also and. So if we're moving and the enemy turtle shell dot current state equals walking, then uh, we don't want to reverse direction. We want to go straight through the enemy turtle shell or enemy turtle. So here we can test this. Hopefully, bounce go bounce. Two shells collide with each other and reverse velocities. We did it. So here's a little interesting bug. Um, when we destroy a box 2D body, and then we spawn a new body, like um, like a mushroom by chance, then our sprite from our previously destroyed body attaches to that because it has the same uh, memory location for that box 2D body. So it's really, really weird. So let's go ahead and fix that. So a really quick fix uh, for this, probably not the correct one, is public void draw inside the turtle class. We're gonna override the draw method for the sprite and say if not destroyed, uh, super draw batch. Now this still is basically still attaching uh, to that box 2D body, but it's not actually drawing anything because the the body has already been destroyed. You know, we've set that variable up at the top. The better way to do this is inside of our world creator, create some kind of method like remove turtle um, when we destroy anything and then we remove it from our list of enemies and then it never updates, it never gets, you know, it basically is cleaned up by Java. So you guys can go ahead and do that. That was a little too long for this tutorial to set up, but you could do something like public static void remove turtle and then inside the turtle class, um, when we actually in our update method destroy the turtle, you would say something like box to or b2 world creator dot destroy turtle and then pass it this is the object. So that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I went ahead and did what I told you was going to take a little bit too long to do in the video, but kind of explain to you just shortly. So I changed that um, uh, B2 world creator. So you can check that out inside the source code on my GitHub account if you are, you're interested in that. I changed it for both Goombas and for Turtles. So definitely go give that a look at. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button but most importantly please share the video if you liked it I'm trying to grow this channel and you guys have been the major driving factor in doing that uh, if you're feeling generous check out my patreon page i give you two big thumbs up for that i appreciate everybody watching and i'll catch you guys next time